definitely do a feeding tube. A feeding tube is a little too much. And this pain management doctor does great nerve blocks for mouths. Good morning, everybody. As you guys can see, we're in Judd and Jackie's house. I'm here in Tampa for an appointment for a pain management appointment to see if I could do a nerve block, a consultation nerve block for possibly to see if I have mouths. <sighs> this is all nerve wracking right now and I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's a possibility to see if I could get diagnosed and it's a new step for the future. <sighs> but while we were here, Jackie ended up in the hospital. The trip did take a toll on her and on me, and that is why we did stop on vlogging because, you know, we both didn't feel good and it was just a little bit much for us. And <sighs> But I decided to pick up the camera because I know you guys want to see what's going on with this appointment. So, why not? But I don't know, I wanted to pick up the camera to do this appointment for you guys, but after this appointment, I don't know if I'm going to continue my break or, you know, keep going with vlogging. But these past couple of days has taken a toll on me, so it's like the pain has been a little bit much. Maybe because I've been eating a little bit more and I've been proud of myself, but the pain has been much more. But yesterday I was in the hospital all day with Jackie, but I was very happy because they have they had a bed next to Jackie, so I was like, ah. and the nurses kept coming in and they were wondering, are you the patient or is she the patient? Because I was also infusing at the same time, so they were just like, who's the patient? And I was just thinking in my head, I'm infusing out of my boot bag, so how are you guys getting this confused but then I'm like maybe because I look like I'm in agony maybe that's why they think I'm also the patient who knows but today we are leaving after our appointment we're going back to Orlando so yeah bye Judd and Jackie's house bye but Judd's upstairs sleeping he's going back to work um, two days Paul's the last day off so he's also going back to work and Jackie's mom is taking care of her in the hospital, so we're all going back to reality. So it's actually really funny. Jackie's talking to one of her friends who used to have mouths, and I'm talking to one of my friends who some of you may know and watch her YouTube channel, Aubrey, and possibly you guys follow her on Instagram as well. And I'm texting her and she's just telling me what to expect, possibly if I have mouths. And when I go to this appointment, we're going to be talking about the celiac plexus block. And if I get relief from this nerve block, um, it's a big confirmation that I do have mouths. <sighs> and I'm just talking to Aubrey and telling her my biggest worries, what I'm thinking. And she is helping me so much, you know comforting me and be like don't worry about this you got this and it's such a big help and my biggest worry is the surgery and I saw her pictures saw the big scar and I'm like oh my goodness but you know first I gotta get through this of course so we are on our way and let's go do this you ready to go bud look at you all so happy ready to be all dressed up in your gear all right sit Good boy, good boy. Oh, you're so happy to be working. So we are on our way to this appointment. We are kind of on a time crunch. Close pump. We are kind of on a time crunch because this is a little bit far away. Paul has work and he can't be missing out on work. And the big number one thing, I don't want a feeding tube. That's number one.
not, me and Paul know what we're doing. Me and Paul had, had conversations between each other. And, you know, if it's really necessary and I really need it and I'm not doing so hard, so be it. But right now, we really think it's, we're not, we're not there yet. We're good. We're good. I know my weight was really concerning to you guys when I was in Dallas in my PJs, but don't worry guys, we are fighting to get answers and a feeding tube, we're just not there and down that road just yet, so, but we're getting there and fighting to get a diagnosis. We got this. Orion's being a very good boy, waiting patiently. Janice is here filling out some paperwork. How you, how's it going, babe? Some days are good, some days are still bad. But today's a bad day. I'm just ready to sleep. Take a good nap. Yeah. She's tired. I'm tired, but obviously she's a little bit more tired. So she's just chilling here. She has all her stuff here. Medical paperwork and whatnot. The doctor's going to come in soon. And uh, we're going to talk to him. This is a great day that Paul can advocate for me because I'm not all in it. I'm not all in it here. So I got him from you. <laughs> the appointment was fabulous. Don't you agree, Paul? Yes, very much so. I really do like this doctor. You know, he was recommended by, you know, an acquaintance of ours and he was great. He doesn't treat you like a patient. He treats you like a person. Great bedside manner. Fabulous. Amazing. Yeah. Now the thing is, there is a surgeon in Orlando that does do surgeries for mouths. He stopped doing them. Uh, like, we don't know why. Maybe not taking on patients. What was the reason exactly? He just said he wasn't taking on any new patients right now. Yeah, or he stopped doing the surgery. I don't know. It was devastating. We're like, we wouldn't have needed to travel for the surgery. But oh well. So the next closest surgeon who does this for mouths is in Tampa. Uh, oh well. We also heard great things about this doctor as well. Perfectly fine. And this pain management doctor does great nerve blocks for mouths. And he was telling us all the different nerve blocks that he could do for me. And telling us the risks, the pros and cons, how long they could work for me. And I was just like, this is all fabulous. Now the thing that I really liked about him, he was going above and beyond for me. We did tell him we already had a surgeon to do this, but we haven't met him yet. And he was just like, we have to ask what kind of nerve block he would like us to do. And I told him, well, we're kind of on a time crunch, of course, with the feeding tube dilemma. And he was just like, oh, okay. What is your surgeon's number? We need to get on this because if you don't want this to happen just yet and you're having this problem, let's get on this ASAP. So he was going above and beyond. And I loved it. You, you gotta love a doctor that's trying to help you out as well. So he's gonna call us back and we're gonna arrange all this and get it done ASAP. Yes! I am home! And of course, once I got home, I instantly put on my PJs. I was like a snake and just slithered on into my PJs. <sighs> I'm not feeling the best today, but I tried. For you guys. Paul's right now on the computer and he was just like, that was a funny analogy with the snake. I'm sorry for all you snake haters out there. If I probably used a frog analogy, I would be like, Ugh. You would quiver in your own seat. I would. I probably would. <laughs> now, I really want to say to you guys, thank you so much. The last time I vlogged, I talked about my pooping incident. Now, Honestly, I was just very vulnerable when I talked about that. Sometimes when I talk about things like that, it's embarrassing for me. And you guys leave comments and you're like, thank you so much, you know, I don't feel alone. But when you guys leave comments saying, oh, it happens to me too, it happens to the best of us. Oh, I, I have to be careful when I fart. You guys make me feel so much better because I'm, I don't feel alone because it happens to you guys as well so thank you guys so much for 
making me not feel like I'm not the only one out there as well. When I tell stories like that, I'm just like, oh my goodness, how embarrassing. And it was even more embarrassing because it happened in the hotel. And what made me more embarrassed was I was asleep when it happened and didn't wake up till the next morning. And I was like, oh my goodness, what's next? What's next here? Please. And I just was not feeling the best but i know that's stuff you guys want to know and it makes you guys feel better because as i saw in your comments you're you like to know you're not the only one so and i like reading those comments because then i feel like i'm not the only one so thank you so much i love it when we all come together that is what a community does as you guys remembered i did do a vlog of me going to my ear specialist which I was a nervous wreck and I asked you guys a question saying what is a doctor that doesn't listen to you that makes you nervous or you just dislike going and I'll have that vlog right here up in the corner some of you guys said your pain management doctor and some of the comments were you know they think I just want pain meds I'm just a druggie stuff like that and you know I read some of those comments and I was just like Oh my goodness maybe all pain management doctors are all like that and I was a little nervous going to this doctor feeling like he was going to treat me like that but this doctor was fabulous I just talked to him tell him you know some of my concerns some medications and he heard me loud and clear and treated me like a person not a patient just had a warm feeling about him and was amazing but it gave me confidence seeing this pain management doctor and being able to find one now here in Orlando I think I could do it I can advocate for myself now but who knows who knows maybe things could still go south or the doctor may not have good bedside manner like this doctor did so I never know but I, I feel like I'm prepared for this now I decided to switch positions because Orion is just being so cute I guess or Harlow actually pooped him out because he is sleepy. Hi, buddy. And in Yodi's bed, of course, because he really does not fit in this bed. So, guys, I'm not feeling the best doing the car ride all over Tampa and then coming home took a little bit out of me. And waking up this morning, I, I was not doing so hot either. But, guys, I hope you guys had a fabulous time and day and I'm going to end it here. So, adieu and good night.